Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. In today's video tutorial for Bugisto, we'll be checking out the different default shipping methods that are available in Bugisto by default. And those are the free shipping and the flat rate shipping methods. So we'll be checking these out at the checkout time as a customer how the shipping rates would be visible uh, there for the flat rate shipping and how the free shipping would be visible to the customers at the checkout time after they have selected their billing address. Apart from that we'll also be seeing how we can configure the free shipping and the flat rate shipping from the admin backend panel. So in the free shipping you can provide the customers the shipping option without any shipping charge so the customers will see the zero dollar amount as a shipping charge for the free shipping method at the checkout as you can see here we have the free shipping for zero dollars and in the case of flat rate shipping here you can define the shipping charge manually that will be applicable to the order the shipping charge defined would be applicable per order or per unit so if it's applicable per order and you have set it as 10 whatever will be the quantity in the cart the particular shipping rate that you have set for the per order would be applicable there so for example if you have set it as per order as ten dollars and the quantity within the cart is five then for the per order the shipping rate would be ten dollars but in the case if you have said the shipping charge defined uh, would uh, be applicable as per unit that in that case if you said the shipping charge is ten dollars for per unit then if there are one quantity in the cart then the shipping charge will be ten dollars if the quantity is two uh, two units there then the shipping charge will be 20 and so on and so forth depending upon the quantity the respective shipping charges would be applicable to the particular order there so uh, here you can see uh, that uh, i'm at the checkout time as a customer and uh, i'll be showing you the workflow there for the flat rate shipping and the free rate uh, free shipping there but before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial there please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that i've enabled the free shipping and the flat rate shipping both are visible to the customers after selecting their billing address here you can see that we have the select shipping method section and there we are having the free shipping and the flat rate shipping now for the flat rate shipping you can set up the shipping uh, rate that would be applicable for the order there and you can set it as per your own requirement and for the free shipping you can set the or you can enable the free shipping and the customers will see the zero dollar shipping cost for the particular order that they're going to place using the free shipping method so the free shipping can be enabled for all of the orders there that are going to be placed uh, within the store there now let me take you to the admin backend panel and uh, here what we need to do is after the successful login into the Bugisto backend panel by entering the email and the password what you need to do is you need to go to this wrench icon and go to sales and under sales you need to navigate to shipping methods under shipping method you'll have the free shipping and the flat rate shipping method these are the different default shipping methods that are available in Bugisto by default so for the free shipping you can set the title that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time and the description that would be visible to the customers so this is customizable as per your own requirement you can set up the title and the description for the free shipping method there and you can enable it up by toggling this button to enable or you can disable this by toggling the button to disable option there right so whatever title that you have given here for the free shipping and the description that you have given for the free shipping would be visible to the customers at the checkout time so here's the title this is the description same goes with this this is a title this is the description right so this was the free shipping this can be enabled for all of the orders that are going to be placed within your store and you can provide the customers uh, with the free shipping option as well so that they can select the free shipping at the time of checkout when they are placing the particular order now coming to the flat rate shipping here you can give the title that would be visible to the customers at the checkout time flat rate the description can be set up the description is visible here flat rate shipping you can give the the uh, rate of the shipping there for example we are giving the shipping charges as ten dollars there and we have selected the type as per unit the type can be per unit or per order 
and we have enabled the status as toggle button to enable option there. Now for example here you can see that we have said the rate is $10 and the type is per unit. So for example here you can see that here we are having three quantities there because we have set the type as per unit so three quantities are there so that's why the shipping rate is $30. Now if I go and I add one more product to the card there for example let me go to the front end and let me add one more product that's the fourth product to the card. So uh, here you can see that now the total quantity is four. Now if I go to the checkout page here if I select my billing address I'll see the select shipping method section where I can see the flat rate shipping as 40 now because the because we have set the uh, type as per unit so the shipping rate that we have set would be applicable per unit there so there are four units in the card so that's why the shipping rate is forty dollars now if i make this as per order then in this case what will happen is that whatever will be the unit quantity in the card whatever shipping rate that you have set up that shipping rate would be applicable to the whole card there so for example here we are having uh, four units in the card and let me set the type as per order and let me save this up so per order we are uh, charging ten dollars as the shipping rate for the flat or uh, flat rate shipping there and let me refresh this particular page here so what I'll be doing is I'll be again selecting my billing address now you'll see that we'll be seeing that the flat rate is ten dollars for the whole card there uh, irrespective of the units uh, or the quantity of the products within the card if it was per unit there then in this case uh, it would be 3 plus 1 that is 4 that it would be 4 into 10 dollars that would be 40 dollars and in case uh, we have set it as per order then it would be the, uh, for the complete order irrespective of the number of quantities that are there within the particular order it would be ten dollars for the same so if i change it from per order to per unit again the rate is ten dollars i'll save it up after saving if i refresh the page here i select my billing address once again under the shipping methods i'll see 40 as the flat rate for the particular one because we have 3 plus 1 that is 4 quantities 4 into 10 that would be $40 there so yes these were the two uh, default shipping methods that are available in Bagistu that are the flat rate shipping and the free rate uh, and the free shipping methods and you can provide these two shipping methods to your customers as per your own requirement for the free shipping you can provide the free shipping option wherein the customers will see $0 as the shipping charge for getting the sh uh, shipments delivered at their home uh, home steps and uh, for the flat rate you can define the particular shipping rate and uh, the shipping charge defined would be applicable as per order or per unit so in the case of flat rate shipping here you can define the shipping charge manually that will be applicable to the order and the shipping charge defined would be applicable as per the order or as per unit there and in the case of free shipping you, you can provide the customers with the shipping option without any shipping charges so the customers will see the zero dollar amount as the shipping charge for the free shipping method and the checkout time there so after you have selected this shipping method the same would be reflected here under the card sum summary as delivery charges as 40 for free shipping it would be showing it as zero dollars as you can see here on the right hand side there so yes, that was much about the different default shipping methods in Bagisto and I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bagisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bagisto.uvdesk.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.